the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. That are in the flesh mm. cannot please God. Mm. But ye are what do you not mean? in the flesh. Come on now. <laughs> but in the spirit. Yes, sir. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. If so be is the spirit of God dwells in you. Yes, sir. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, I mm, mean, you have some other kind of spirit. Ooh. He is not a <laughs> Now, I don't know why that, that his isn't capital, it's got capitalized, but it, it's talking about God. Yes, sir. And if Christ be in you, come on now, the body is dead. All yes, right. the body already. Is dead already. It's already. Because of sin. Mm -hmm. But the spirit is life mm. because of righteousness. Yes. But if the spirit of him that raised up Yeshua, Jesus. Yes, sir. Come on now. From the dead dwell in you. Yes, sir. You that raised up Christ from the dead shall also yes. quicken your mortal bodies. Woo, make it alive. By Come his on. spirit that dwelleth in you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you know, I want to throw something at you here too, bro. I caught in verse eight when you said, so then the day of the flesh cannot please God. Many of us get start, get really wrapped up in trying to please people anyway. Yeah, by work. You know? Mm. By works, by 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 submitting to somebody yeah. else, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to get somebody else approval instead of trying to understand. Look, the person you're supposed to please is God. Was that Hebrews eleven six? For without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Yes. But he who comes to God must believe that He is, and that He is the reward of those who diligently seek Him. But no. We can't please God in the flesh. We can please people. And that's what people need to understand, brother. That's that's where it comes from. People find it easy to please somebody else. Not recognize it is to please God. And that's what Christ even did in the God of Gethsemane. I mean, Christ sat there and said, I mean, you know, I don't blame Christ. Father, if this, if this cup can pass, <laughs> hey, hey, but nevertheless, not that let, let that will be done not 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 my will be done but he was asking right he, he was a legitimate question because i knew he and then most people didn't think it's because of the, the torment he, the physical torment he's going through no it's the is the separation that god would turn his back on him so that he can pay the debt to society is what that what Christ was looking at is like, is there another way, right, bro? I mean, you know, maybe that's what you just say, is there another way? Well, yeah. okay. But nevertheless, let that will be done because I want to redeem these people. I want to redeem everyone. I don't want to just redeem Hebrews or just Jews. I want to redeem the world. And that's what we as believers are called to reconcile the world together to Christ. So that's good. Anything else you want to say on that one before I go to the next slide? Well, just to, to... To piggyback on what you were saying, you know, when, when Christ said, nevertheless, let that mm -hmm. will be done, he had a choice. He did mm -hmm. not have to go through mm -hmm. what God's will was for him to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, but sir. But he had to choose. Yes. He had to make that choice. Or else it, it, it would not have worked. Exactly. It, His he will. Had to, he yeah. had to be in the same mindset that we are mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he had to be capable of going against God because he even said you know it, it he doesn't want to go through with this his, his, Come on. his physical self but the yeah. spirit in him yes because he was operating in the spirit yes sir nevertheless thy will thy be, will yes sir and yeah I like the fact that the Lord's prayer says that daily if you use the Lord's Prayer, <laughs> give us this day. That means daily, right? Yes. Every day, your opportunity to sit there and say, Thy will be done yes. in earth as it is in heaven. And that's why I like the Lord's Prayer. People say, remind you to use that because it tells you, Thy will be done. His will, not, not, not our personal will, 
but his will be done in our life daily. And that's why I'm saying we can fulfill the law. Now, this other scripture right here says, uh, the, the one I quoted, now we can just get it verbatim. Yeah, try that one for us. This is in Matthew 22, 34 to 30 to 40. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Mm -hmm. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, mm. tempting him and saying, Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Come on now. Yeshua said unto him, <laughs> Thou shalt love the Lord thy God Come on with now. all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. Mm. This is the first and great commandment. That's the first and great commandment. Yes. And the second is like unto it. Like thou unto it. Love man. thy neighbor mm. as thyself. Mm-hmm. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Meaning if we operate in the love toward God and the love toward one another, we fulfill the laws, all the laws and the prophets because we're operating under love. And that is why we need to stay in the spirit. Those two great commandments can be done, and those are spiritual commandments. Because you, you can't love God in any way, right? John 4 no, 24 no, said it. It is impossible. <laughs> Come on, bro. You know, it's John 4 24. <laughs> what, 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 that's putting God above you. <laughs> you know, your, your will to actually exist. If, I yes. Mean, if you don't love Him with all your heart, that means you love him more than you love yourself. Come on now. With all that soul, that means that the life that you live <laughs> no longer yes. is yours, it Come is on. God's. Mm. Mm. With mm. all that mind, that means that you are constantly Woo. in connected in, in, in conversation with God continually. Yes. yes. And that's what Christ was trying to say. That's the biggest thing he had. It wasn't a, the physical thing he was going to go through. No. It was the spiritual disconnect that he had to go yeah. through. Yeah. You know, he, that's what he said on the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That was the first time God had to pull back. So that all the sins, all the things that us, us all have done and will do and have done, goes on the cross. You know? And like I said, so it didn't love that neighbors that sell. Yeah. It, it's a lot of cases we're motivated, the greed and everything else is motivated on the fact of selfishness. You know, people taking people's position, people sit there and, and giving false witness of people, people trying to set people up, people taking people, kicking, keep kicking people out of their, their homes or their, or their apartment because I, I want my money. <laughs> You know? I mean, and so many people the, the, the people that's in drugs and fighting in the drug war today they killing one another because they want their money well, my money you know what I mean yeah. it, and, it is all about selfishness what God is saying is I don't want you to be selfish I want you to love one another you know so that, that that's the critical piece of being a believer and we can fulfill the laws by, just by doing that then this scripture here, uh, I want I put this back in here. We read this last week, but it lines up with what I believe is one of the biggest issues about hypocrisy. And 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 so so read it again, and let I'll, and I'll go over to what I'm talking about. You know why I'm really uh, keying in on that thirteen? But yeah, go ahead. This is but he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. Mm, mm. And whosoever shall exalt himself mm. shall be abased. Come on. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Mm. But That's woe biggest... unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Hypocrites. For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against man. Mm. For ye neither go in yourself. Come on. Neither suffer ye them that are entering to go <laughs> in. Wow. This is woe unto you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites. Mm. 
for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer, mm. therefore ye shall receive the greater wow. damnation. Wow. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye compass sea mm. and land mm. to make one proselyte. One. And when he is made, you make him twofold more the child of hell Dang. than yourselves. That is that is so and it, it is like what people try to produce even in politics, people try to do in ministries. Uh they they make people even worse, twofold worse. Because he said, you know, because let people know the Hebrews, one of the traditions was to go in and what recruit people uh to come under the law yeah. to come under their their way their traditions their customs and you sitting there saying is you but you're not you're trying you're teaching a principle of something but you're teaching them how to do opposite of that at the same time you teach them how to be evil he's definitely said right two twofold yeah how do you how do you how can you have a a, a a culture that's that's wrapped up in a covenant that makes someone twofold. What, what were they teaching that? <laughs> I, I, did, did they talk about a covenant of God? Did they talk about the love of God, the mercy of God? Did they talk about the wrath of God? Because something I don't know what they're teaching. But what I don't like is the fact is that. This, and it seems like what's going on with people today when they sit there and try to put these imposing these rules on us, on one another, is that they don't, they try to shut the kingdom of heaven. They become, I call gatekeepers. Uh, they become uh, disqualifiers. They, they become condemners of condemning other people. And then at the same time, they don't even go in themselves. That, that, that really is, is, is the kicker right there. You 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 shut up. You try to shut up the kingdom of heaven. You they they and that's what we see. That's where you got gatekeepers. That's where you got legal legal minded people, legalistic people. They don't want you in the church. You don't come in our church. Or we could kick you out of our church. So we kick you out of the principles in the kingdom of God, which is obviously you're not doing anyway. You but you kick those people out because you're not even going in yourself. Those sit there and sit there and got a problem with uh, one area, and yet they're doing the sun, you know, they're doing sun themselves in another area. And the, and the Bible in James 2.10 said, for if you sin at one point, people, listen, if you sin at one point, if you're going to go by the law, you go, if you sin at one point in the whole law, you're guilty of the whole law. You could, you, it's no one sin is better than another sin. It, and I think that what some people think, brother Adam. Some people sit there and think that, well, if I go by the law and be legalistic by the law, that as long as I'm not doing, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing the the, the adultery, so I, I'm I'm squared away. But I'm but I'm it's, the covetousness is there, you know. The secret they call it. Somebody said the other day, call it the secret sin. You ever, you, ever, you ever heard that term before? It's the secret sin. Oh. No, I've, I've, I haven't heard that one. Yeah, because it's, it's something that is not necessarily obvious to other people, mm -hmm. especially in like the area of lust, right? Yeah. And as long as you ain't cross that line and you stay there long enough, you will cross that line. We know that. Yeah. But but it's a it's a something that's going on on the inside. Same thing with unforgiveness. The, a lot of cases you can you can you can hide that. But envy and and, 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 and and jealousy and all those other things, those are considered secret sins until you let it manifest itself towards somebody. And then you try to do it on the the righteousness of, of of God. You know what I mean? They they, they think they're doing it. Uh, you indignant because they you violated God's law, but really you just offended that person. You offended you. You offended. The bottom line, you offended. It's not. It's not the fact that you're concerned with what a God is offended. You are offended, and now you want to impose any penalties you can. Same thing with the uh, woman caught in an act of adultery. You know, all those people are ready to do what? Pick up the stone. 
pick up the song. We're going to go ahead and get you, you know? So now, with that in mind, and we prepared to do this, because uh, I, I found out my wife was reminding me, it's, it's 9.30, <laughs> we wrap up, because she, okay. <laughs> we go. Well, we go. I, I wanted to go and, and, and fellowship with one of my friends at his service. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, she because she came in the other day, and I thought was, for some reason I was thinking eleven o'clock, uh, and, and and we were I went way over and realized oh I'm sorry. <laughs> so so now the question I want to do you and I would talk briefly about it, and then we want let's tell these people you can fulfill at least the God God's commandments. Yeah, and the, and the only ones that are going to have challenges with maybe. <laughs> And I still, I was telling you also about the the Sabbath day is the fact is that really, if we go by the original enforcement of the Sabbath day by Moses, we remember that guy was picking up sticks mm -hmm. and they stoned him. Uh, he also told people, and, and this is the hypocrisy when you try to say you're doing the Sabbath day, yeah. is this. The manna, remember the manna came in every day, did it not? Yeah. It came in on on on, on the Sabbath too. And oh no! Well, correction. No, no, correction. no. I'm correction. Yeah. They they had to pick it up the day before Double. the Sabbath. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was one day that they had to pick it up so that they don't have to go out there and get it. And he got it. Moses got sometimes Moses got mad when he went up trying to looking for it. It was like I told, did not tell that never had joker. You 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 supposed to pick a double portion because the next day on Sabbath I want you to rest. And so that means even working to go get food was was you know a violation of the, the rest. Mm -hmm. And so therefore look at this. What I'm saying is if you do go to church Sunday day of Venice. Or even the people that sit there and say, well, our Sabbath is moved to Sunday. That means the only thing you should be doing is to go to service and go home. You don't go to a potluck. You don't go to a restaurant, mm -hmm. right? You don't do any, you 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 should be, look, if you're talking about being indignant of, of, of sin, since that is a commandment. You should be saying all those people who are working 24 7, those who work on Saturday, those who work on Sunday. It used to be, in the, you know, think about it, it used to be in the old, in the, what, the 40s and stuff like that, in the 50s, maybe even the 60s, there were blue laws, right? There were laws where you, they, everything was shut down. Yeah. You know, uh, I see we don't do that no more either. So I'm saying, so if you're going to do the, the intent is to rest and some people rest by vacation some people rest by golfing like you you know you guys like to do some people like go fishing they, they, people our determination to rest it's like we take vacations is is we don't rest I, I like star trek spock said you you humans y'all don't you you call rest work your rest is work because mm -hmm. you you're doing something you know, yeah. so that's just another story. So let's check the box and see if you could, can you, as you read these, as we wrap it up, as you read this, can you say, check if you can do this? And if you can't let it, you know, tell the people why you can't do that. Yeah. Okay. okay. And don't forget the James 2.10, just to let people know what, what that means. Okay. Uh, for whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all of them. So if you offend one, mm. then all of them have been, you know, you failed them all. You failed them all. You know, you get zero. You don't get a 90%, you get zero. Uh -uh. You get zero. That's, <laughs> there's that's, no, look, there's an A or an F. There's no B, C. <laughs> 100%. Oh, yes. 100 or zero. Or zero. And, that, and that's why we hey, look, bro. If that's what I'm saying is if you live by the whole law, people, that's what I'm trying to say. You can fulfill it by love because you're not gonna fulfill the law. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the, the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Is that a check? 
Well, oh, come on, then talk to us. Then. Let me let me say this: that there are many types of God. Yeah, you know, if that, you put if you put your your money, your money, God, mm -hmm. you could put your spouse or your child mm -hmm. before God, and that is your God. That's who mm -hmm. you worship. Yeah, you can put, you know, a a an item that you desire. Mm -hmm. You you want to save up money to get something that could actually be a god. You know you'll do anything to get that. That's a serving yeah. that thing, right? You know, uh, but there there's many types and forms of gods, mm -hmm. and they're all most of them are subliminal. Yes, sir. Because the enemy don't want you to understand mm -hmm. that you're putting something above God. And that's the key point, right? Is that, that is yes, the there are other things that you can hide, hold very high, but God is saying you will not put that before me. Yes. You don't put your wife, you don't put your children, you don't put anything above me. There beside me, what that Isaiah said, besides me, there is no other God. There is no other God. And that's what he's saying, right? Don't you put anything else before me. Okay, so that's a check. That's a check. That's a check because it's not, in, you may have hold something very high, but you're not going to hold it higher than God. Than God. That's the key, people. And you know, I tell you not to sit there and have a position of something that you value very high and very important to include your, your parents or your, your wife and everything else, but don't put that above God. You don't even have to anyway, because there's no reason why you want to put those things before God. Yeah. You want to put those things under God for God's love and God protection and God's blessing for them. Yeah. Yes, sir. What you got? What did you got? Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image mm -hmm. or any likeness of anything that mm -hmm. is in heaven above. Mm -hmm. Or that is in the earth beneath mm -hmm. or that is in the water under the earth mm -hmm. so any image mm -hmm. any image that you exalt mm -hmm. falls under this mm -hmm. you know because, so yeah. I, don't, I don't know why there are images of yeshua Jesus. yeah why you know i, I think <laughs> I think I want to throw something at you on that. I think the key to it is verse five, though, right? It's not so much just just making the image. You remember how that that one scripture where the guy killed, uh, he burnt, killed the animal, and got a fire and cooked uh -huh. it and everything else, and then he took some of the remnants of the wood and and he shaped it, right? And then he said that was his God. You know what I mean? Uh huh. I'm just saying is that is 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 I think these two go together because I I think if you count them I don't, I don't think that's I think that those two are all one about thou shalt not make an image because verse five thou shalt not what what what's the point there thou shalt not bow down, down thyself to them. and serve them that's what he's trying to say yeah. so I I understand you know. It's, we shouldn't be making any images because that's what he's telling us. I, don't, I just don't know. I think those two are together. It's, it's the only thing. We might have to go back one day. We'll count them. Uh, well, you know, all I mean, ten. To me, it's still they, they they are kind of one in the same. But mm -hmm. you know, the images that we see, you see why you don't yeah. make no images. Exactly. You no, know, exactly. It becomes, it becomes yeah because man's agenda. And not, <laughs> yeah. Not Come God. on. Yeah, and look for racism. The fact yeah. is that you're gonna sit there and paint, and and, and, and you know how I thought about this one, y'all, real quick. Is when when the when the white supremacist people actually come to a conclusion that they're people of color <laughs> that they've been worshiping, what would they do? Would they reject the faith? You know, the way they act here on earth, they will probably rather go to hell mm. than go to heaven to be with them. You see, what I'm saying I'm, that's the only concern. That's the thing for for them and and anybody else. Listen, don't get wrapped on this flesh stuff because it is is irrelevant. What's that? I think you remember we read that one in Jeremiah 17:7. I think one of them said is that 
curse is a man who trusts in man and makes his flesh his arm. Yeah. And the only thing you don't want to make his flesh his arm, he's sitting there saying, is you making your flesh your strength, opposed to God being your strength. Mm -hmm. You invest in your flesh. You put in that above God. Because that, that really goes right back down to it, doesn't it? Because the only thing he did is you, when you sit there and paint, you feel like you got to paint the, the, the Christ, Yeshua, uh, European white, because you that only way you will worship him you, or worship God. You put in your flesh above God. That's the only thing I'm trying to say. That's a danger in yourself. It's not your flesh going to get you in heaven. It's not your flesh that you put before God. I don't care whether you're white or black. You don't put that before God. You don't make that more important than God. And I know that that's what some people do. And that's what you was trying to say. That's what. That's why he tried to say you shouldn't only make any images. Because of that exactly what is doing. What's going on today is exactly why he said you shouldn't put make an image of of of, uh, of of the creator or the messiah or or god Any, anybody don't exalt any i mean look at you got people exalting images of mary mm, 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 you know mm. different uh 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 popes mm -hmm. um it's just there's just so many i mean even the cross people yeah. people think that cross is something to worship it is not it's not especially when you're talking about when they put remember they used to have an image of the of christ on the cross yeah and he's not even he's not on the cross this is the day that the lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad in it hallelujah hallelujah to god be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.